Hello everybody, welcome to my second update video. Uh, we've just hit 500 subscribers, it's, you know, changing of the new year, 2017's going into 2018, so it seemed like a good time to do another update. I was planning on waiting a bit, but meh. Okay, so I'm going to give you some very quick updates at first, and then I'm going to go into a very long discussion. So quick updates. Uh, some new content will be created. So new content will be the statistical inference and the causal inference videos. So I'm doing something on statistical inference and bootstrapping. You've probably already seen the next couple of videos that are out. Uh, this is an incredibly important concept to learn. I literally think that everyone in, in middle school, if not high school, should be learning this type of stuff. Uh, confidence in data or learning how to express your confidence in data and, and interpret other people's confidence in data is an integral part of making decisions. Uh, well, data-driven decisions, which should be literally all of your decisions, um, at least at, a, at sort of like a macro corporate level. Causal inference is then taking that to one step further. Um, so you know, know how to express your confidence in data, but what does this data actually tell you about cause and effect, uh, which can be incredibly important when doing policy decisions or just life decisions or just, just decisions. Um, the reason that I'm doing these is because I think they're so important. Um, so these, these are sort of the two videos that, that are gonna be coming out next. Um, while I'm doing those two videos, I'm also gonna be doing deep, uh, deep learning history videos. So hopefully making one or uh, yeah one of those um, every month or every two months. It should be a ton of fun too. I really like history. I really like uh, science. I, I love doing the history of science type stuff. Um, uh, in addition to that, I'm going to be doing maybe a couple collaborations with some other data science type YouTubers. And if you're interested in that, please hang on to the end of the channel. And then finally, um, I'm doing some talks. Uh, uh, sort of uh, across the country as well as an introduction to machine learning course here in San Francisco. Um, the content for those will be posted eventually. If you are interested in, in going or learning more about these, I really suggest that you subscribe to me on Twitter. I literally just post on that sort of stuff and I, I stay very apolitical. I don't really get into much stuff. Um, I just sort of post on, on machine learning and, and basically conferences and stuff like that I'm talking at. Um, if you're interested in going to the machine learning course, however, I will, I've, I've sort of posted a link down below. Uh, I might actually put a link up here as well. Um, so if you're interested in doing that, it's gonna be in San Francisco. It's gonna be at the University of San Francisco. Uh, so it's a certificate course uh, in machine learning. Uh, it's it's gonna be a great intro. Um, there's not enough, there's so much I, I would like to say about it, but I don't wanna sort of bog your attention down. Um, I have taught a couple of Introduction to Data Science courses. These have been through General Assembly in the past. Um, uh, and if you're interested in, in sort of attending one of those, please get in contact with General Assembly and ask about me, Nathaniel Tucker. Um, and if you ask about, or just Nate Tucker, if you ask about Nate Tucker, they'll know who you're talking about and you know, they'll, they'll point you to those. I, I do about once a, uh, once a year of teaching over there. Okay. So that's sort of the new content that's coming out. If any of that seems interesting to you, please subscribe um, because sort of every, every big red button click counts. It sort of lets me know that I'm still doing something that, that I should continue to work to put online and, and let people sort of you know, learn along with me. So, okay, so that's, that's the end of the, the too long don't watch section. So if, if, you were, if that's all you wanted to know, what the upcoming content was and stuff like that, then you can go ahead and sort of exit out of this and you know, after you click that big red button. Um, if you're interested in more stuff, I've got a couple more things. I'm gonna talk a little bit about growth, you know, how the channel has grown, what, what sort of general trends that I've seen, um, as well as some changes that, that might happen in the future. I'm gonna talk about collaboration, collaboration with me as well as collaboration with uh, other creators out there. I'm gonna talk about future videos. Uh, so I, I told you a little bit about the future videos here, but I wanna sort of go into more detail later on. Um, and then I'm just sort of gonna give you a thanks. Um, so, you know, before all that, you know, things have changed for the better actually in the channel. As you see, I've got a, I've got a lovely mic now. That's nice. Um, I have also been working with a wonderful editor. Um, who may or may not pop up at one point and say hello. Um, as well as the channel, I think the content has been getting a little bit different. So previously the content was very, very technical. I think the only people, oh, people that were already interested in data science, very much so, would be people that would be interested in this content. People that already have a strong math background, a strong coding, a strong coding background, would be people that would be interested in this content. 
And I did that because I made this content for me uh, as well as my students, um, uh, as well as you know potentially hires down the line uh, in order to get up to speed with the stuff that I think is important. Um, now, I'm still doing that. I'm still very interested. The only reason I'm doing these videos is again, because I'm very interested in learning this stuff sort of foundationally. Um, and if I can go ahead and make this learning free and open, then that's sort of like a great bonus or bonus um, afterwards. So I'm still doing that, uh, but the content has become much more foundational. So with the introduction to, or with the statistical inference uh, stuff, with the causal inference stuff, with the deep learning history stuff, with the introduction to machine learning stuff, it's all foundational. Literally, you, you can co in. The only thing that you need for any of these sorts of things is algebra, right? A, a good head on you, um, an interest in these subjects. Um, for the introduction to machine learning, you need to know Python. Um, that's it. Uh, so, so not a lot you know, versus when I was talking about, you know, for example, a, a little bit of, of, of data science and, and scikit-learn, um, you need it to know some data science, right? I mean, if you didn't really know machine learning and data science, a lot of this wouldn't make a lot of sense. So you, you couldn't fit it into an overarching picture. Um, so the content of my stuff has been changing. Um, so, so with these changes, I still want you to know the character of the channel is still there. It's just stuff that I find interesting that I think is, in, it is incredibly important for everyone to know. Previously, I think this stuff was incredibly important for every data scientist to know. I think the next two videos, causal inference and statistical inference, are important for every person that makes decisions. They should, they should know these. Literally, if you vote for a politician that doesn't know these things, I, I just I wouldn't. I just, which, which shows me how weird I am in this world. Um, Okay, so let's talk about growth talk. Growth talk has been pretty good. In terms of average minutes watched, uh, we've had a growth of 4,000% um, since the beginning of the year, which is like a lot, I guess. Um, it has slowed down a little bit. During the first half of the year, it was really, really fast. During the second half of the year, it's actually been pretty pretty consistent. Um, it's been three months till doubling, uh, I think is, is what that means. So, you know, in you know, 10 years, <laughs> Right? I'm going to be, more people will be watching me than anyone else. So unfortunately it levels off, I'm sure. So that's good. Um, I'm not going to be doing much in terms of uh, what I call growth hacks. Um, so again, I'm not interested in growing the channel uh, to people that aren't interested in this subject. If you're interested in the subject, if you think what I'm talking about is important, if you believe that you know people that you know should, should learn statistical inference, should learn how to make database decisions, right? Uh, then you should tell them about it. Uh, otherwise, I'm, I'm just sort of going to be keeping it between us. Um, the growth hack that I am considering doing, only because I've heard this mentioned a couple of times, is changing the name of the channel. So the name of the channel is Chateau Deef. Um, and, and if you've heard this reference of Chateau Deef, you should go ahead and in one of the the comments below, I'll put one here. You could just like that comment. If, you, if you've not heard of it before, no need to. I'm just curious how many people have actually heard of this. Um, so with the Chateau d'If sort of thing, uh, this is when I was a kid, I loved this book called Count of Monte Cristo. It's still one of my favorite. Well, not, not absolute favorite, but it's, it's a really good book. It's definitely in my top 20 books. And um, uh, in, this, in this book, there's this character called Dante, and Dante is a sailor. And he gets wrongly convicted of some crime, and they, they send him off to this, this dungeon called Chateau d'If. Um, right, and so the, the channel's named after a dungeon. Ooh, um, not exactly. So when he goes to the dungeon, he meets this other prisoner called Abbe Faria, um, who's this really, really smart guy. Um, and he basically takes Dante under his wing and literally teaches him everything he needs in order to become incredibly smart, escape from prison, and later become a count, um, which is like an incredible, you know, rise to fame and glory in those times. Um, and so he teaches him, you know, multiple languages and calculus and, you know, AI and machine learning. Okay, no AI and machine learning, but he teaches these sorts of things. Um, and the reason I like that name is because it was very general in my mind. You know, it's just teaching people life skills. Um, the problem is that most people see that name, they're like, uh, well, you know, I don't speak French. Um, or like, what does the channel do? Or like, <laughs> you know, some, something, something along those lines. Um, so I'm thinking about changing the name to the channel of the channel to something else, or at least subtitling uh, the name of the channel. Um, so I'm thinking about changing it to Data Talks, 
right? Because David does speak or, or decision science or something, something along those lines. Um, I'll go ahead and put a couple of name change suggestions down below. Um, please do, you know, add a like to vote if, if you, you know, are interested in this sort of subject. And if you're, if you're not, just go ahead and do that anyways. That I'd be really appreciative. Okay. Um, and then general advice. So, so the big thing is this name change. I might do the name change. I might not. And then in terms of general advice, um, if you have any advice for the channel as a whole, please do give it. You know, I remember someone had once commented, hey, the font size needs to be bigger on these videos. And I changed it. And right, that's that's just such like a great thing, like very easy for me to fix. Um, if there's anything like that, you know, the uh, the cover art on the channel should be neon pink and, um, you know, you know that, that might be like an excellent suggestion or something like that. Go ahead, you know, let me know. I'm just curious about any general advice you have for the channel. Okay, so that's growth talk, collaboration talk. So collaboration talk, so I have started to do a couple of open source projects. As always, I do, I, I've posted a lot of, you know, open source learning and educational material. If you're interested in collaborating with me, please do. I've included a link down in the description uh, to a GitHub collaboration page. Um, check it out. Um, there's a couple of projects where you can collaborate. Uh, in addition, there's a couple of teaching stuff that you can, you know, I've had some people submit some really awesome pull requests to a couple of teaching projects that I've done, uh, which is really awesome. I love that. Um, I wish I wish people would do it more often. And other collaboration, if you are interested in helping contribute to the channel, um, you know, we, we always need people to help with, you know, content building and managing and stuff like that. You know, I, I have one person that is helping me edit right now. She's wonderful. Uh, if you are interested in doing editing as well, please reach out to me. If you know and or are interested in doing animation or logo design or anything like that, literally, you know, we need all the help we can get. Um, we would be quite honored to have you. Um, and then the final thing is collaboration with other YouTubers. So um, I'm interested in exploring this community, uh, mostly because I want to find other people that are similar to me, that have this really big passion for open source learning in uh, AI and machine learning, um, and that aren't just like mega hot shots, right? So there's a list of people. Um, I'm gonna be reaching out to them throughout the year. Um, the people that I'm gonna be reaching out to, I'm gonna ask them to do one of two things, I think. Um, if you have a better suggestion, again, I'm gonna be making a little poll down below in terms of likes and stuff like that. Please add a suggestion. I can go ahead and you know see what people like. Um, I'm either thinking of having us do like a little data talks together, as in get a data set, you know, go over it for an hour, um, and then sort of show you how we think while going through one of these data sets. I found this, that students in my class have found this invaluable uh, to helping become a data scientist. That being said, it's an hour long, right? Um, and if you're not interested in becoming a data scientist, you know, not so interesting. The other thing I was thinking about is just doing a little interview. Um, so asking them what they think is important, uh, asking them how they got to where they are, asking them what resources are great, what, you know, techniques or tools that everyone should be knowing about, where the future of AI is, anything like that. Um, so that would be pretty interesting as well. Um, I'll go ahead and put poll down below. Uh, if you think one of these is better than the other, please do please do ask. And then afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and create like a little sort of like little network, a little knowledge base of who knows what on sort of in the you know free educational type space. What what people are specifically good at, um, where where to sort of get your you know uh, get your tailored content. You know, if you want some causal inference, you got to come to Nate. If you want some you know uh, you know. I don't know, cafe instead of like Keras or something like that, or vanilla TensorFlow or introduction to linear regression or something like that, go here or there or whatever. Uh, so I might be, I might be doing that. Uh, that seems pretty fun to me just because I get to learn a lot and I get to talk to really smart people if they talk to me back. Uh, if you are a creator and you're watching this, please reach out. Um, okay, so that's collaboration. Uh, future videos is sort of the next topic. It's gonna be a long one. Um, the future videos. Um, so you know I'm gonna be doing statistical inference and causal inference. Uh, once again, I cannot stress how important I think these things are. Uh, you literally hear so much data during your 
sort of day-to-day basis. You know, 77% of people do, do this. You know, one out of 20,000 people, you know, read this thing, you know. Um, after people, you know, drank this juice, they ran this fast or something like that. You know, hearing this data informs your decisions, informs the way that you think. Um, you have so many... Um, so you have, you have so many sort of data points out there, it's very hard to sort of integrate them in all into a sort of one decision. Um, so understanding statistical inference, which will tell you, you know, how to understand data, so how to, how to understand confidence in data, how to express your confidence in data, as well as causal inference, which is how to distinguish uh, things that are causation uh, versus things that are just tightly linked. Uh, both of these things are essential for making decisions, period. I, again, I, I literally think everyone should know this. This should be taught in high school. Um, I, I actually really think, you know, politicians that, that don't know causal inference, or at least the basic facts of it, you know, should be put in remedial courses. Like anyone with any power that doesn't understand this stuff, uh, you know, really should should learn it. Um, so, so I think these are incredibly important. Again, if you're interested, if you're just sort of like a machine learner, um, and you're like, oh, I don't need this stuff. Please do, please do watch. They're they're incredibly basic. You know, put them on times two speed. Just just sort of go through them. Um, e- even if you're sort of already pretty comfortable with with statistical inference and, and some of causal inference, um, at least some of the later uh, videos and lectures where where I think people trip up a lot. So I so I don't, I don't want to be too didactic here. Um, so in addition to that, I'm doing introduction to or I'm doing history of deep learning. I'm going to be just sort of going through a lot of uh, papers in deep learning and going through sort of the historical figures in it. It will be lots of fun. Uh, if you're not interested in deep learning, no need to watch it. It's just sort of cool and fun. I, I like it. Um, you know that I'm also going to be doing... So that's going to come out like... So I'll be done with statistical inference uh, probably by mid-year and starting causal inference after that. It's once a week. Um, with the deep learning history, I'm going to probably do it once every two months. It's, it's probably a, a video on deep learning history. They're a little bit longer, 15 minutes. Um, okay, so in addition to those guys, you know that I'm going to be doing talks. So I do talks you know, around the country. If you're interested in learning about those, again, Twitter, please subscribe. There's a link down below. Um, I'm going to be doing the Introduction to Machine Learning course, which once that's done, that will also sort of be posted on YouTube. The uh, link is down below if you're in the uh, Bay Area or Valley. Please do, uh, please do check it out. Uh, please do actually just come. Like that would be awesome. Like really, you should. Um, and so those those are kind of like the, the big things. Uh, in addition to that, I'm going to be doing some collaborations with people over the year. Um, and so these these are sort of other fellow data scientists for either a data talk or a little interview or something like that. Um, I do want to say uh, I I am I do have interest in two other areas. One other area is sort of just startup stuff. Again, I'm not sure if this is right for this channel. Um, so if you if you think that if you have this interest also in sort of startup stuff, you can just make a comment down below. I would love to know, love to get a little poll. Um, and the second thing that I have an interest in uh, quite a lot is uh, cognitive biases. So I talked about a little bit last time, probability paradoxes and anti-logic. I think... So I, I've come up with a better title for this. What I'm, what I'm probably going to call it is quantitative biases. I mean, I'm, I'm going to stick uh, probability paradoxes because that's a, sort of like a quantitative bias. Uh, cognitive biases uh, in there, um, and sort of maybe do do a series on it. That being said, there's a lot of stuff that I want to learn more about. Um, I think these are incredibly important. Um, I do have quite a lot of thoughts on them. If you're interested in these thoughts, you should definitely come to. Uh, ODS uh, C, so Open Data Science Conference uh, East, and I'll probably be doing a presentation on it there. And if not, you know, I'll post it, you know, a month or two afterwards. Um, so, I, but that's that's for a separate video. Um, so, so I'm interested in the, these two other things. If you guys are interested in those two as well, please leave a comment. Um, the reason that I've, I've forestalled doing sort of a probability probability paradoxes and anti logic is because I think these are, are best done with more resources than I have right now. Um, so I'm going to accumulate some more intellectual resources and then eventually sort of petition for some more resources as well. Um, and what I, what I mean by this is, you know, I think I think these can best be explained with, with small bits of animation. And I'm not an animator, so. Okay, so that has been, you know, more time than you probably have ever wanted to listen to me 
before. I'm sorry for subjecting you to it. Uh, please, once again, if you've listened to all this, check out the comments below and check out the video description and click on the links if you find them interesting. Um, you, have, you have no idea how sort of grateful I am that, I, I mean, I, I'm very surprised that anyone subscribes to this. You know, again, I, I made this channel as a resource for my students um, and as a resource for uh, future employees that, 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 that I wanted to train and that other people sort of find this valuable at all is, is, is a delight and a surprise and, um, and it, makes, it makes me happy. So I very much so appreciate what you're doing, uh, especially if you've reached the end of this video. And if you've reached the end of this video without being a subscriber, please do subscribe. Uh, okay, thanks. I hope we can collaborate and I hope to see you at one of my events in person.